listeners and subscribers hope all is well so i thought that the area 51 thing was very interesting it tells me that for one me coming here on, on youtube and talking to some of the folks out there who are willing to listen who have their you know thinkers on uh, it, it tells me that we can still garner momentum behind initiatives for the cause okay that we can because st- there's more of us than there is them okay there's more of us than there are these political parasite uh, parasitic elites all right and that's a, that's a good thing so it does go to show that we can garner numbers towards our initiative if it's fleshed out in a way that resonates with enough people all right uh, unfortunately we can't always seem to be that coordinated as coordinated as these you know power pyramid uh, jokers are all right But another thing that I think it sort of reveals is the naivety of people. For one, when the Area... I I do believe there was esoteric covert experimentation going on at Area 51, but I think once the lid was blown on that, they probably moved their operations to a... Uh, other places there are installations military installation and bases all across the united states that are classified for pick your reason okay some we don't want the russians or the chinese you know knowing where we have these installations some of these installations we don't even want american citizens knowing where they are because you know they have plans for the continuity of government in the instance of any catastrophe or calamity some type of disaster okay uh, they're preparing for the continuity of government the united states so there are certain installations we don't know about and i think that if there was something esoteric or worthy of a paradigm shift for the american people uh, it would definitely be an installation where people are not aware of so there's that uh but I do think it's interesting that once we have numbers behind something, it goes to show just how effective we can be at causing a shift in our favor. And this is why I often will say that there's there's something to voting, because if we didn't let ourselves get taken advantage of and, and you know get led down the primrose path by the nose by these these liars we could actually incite some change and balance and stability for the people, right? If if we weren't taken advantage of and we didn't, you know, we weren't whipped from pillar to post over these facile issues, the issues that the mainstream media wants us talking about, so the punditry, you go, they go out there and they spin their stories. If we didn't fall for that and we still said, no, we're going we're gonna to pass this measure and this initiative the way we want it, things would change. But it, here's the thing. It's the people we vote for, it's the initiatives we vote for, which is why we see more of the same. Because we listen to them when they, you know, sell us a dream. When they're basically selling us a dream, we listen to them and then we put them in power and we wonder why we get the same old, same old. That's because these are the the same tyrants who've been recycled time and again, all right? We, We don't look at their background and see what historically the policies they've endorsed. And even if we do, we, we see their the, the mouthpiece on them where they, they spin their stuff, all right? So this is where we're taking advantage of. It goes to show that if we can buckle down, get together, and stop being divided and conquered, that we can actually incite some change for us. So that's one of the things I, I don't want to be overlooked with this, although I do think that this in many ways can work against us because now, <laughs> you know, everybody gets labeled up in this, swept up in this conspiracy theory type thing. So it's just one way for, you know, the U.S. government or the mainstream media mouthpiece punditry to spin a faction of people as whatever they, you know, trying to spin us, a, bu- a bunch of kooks, a bunch of crazies. Uh, <laughs> they, they basically show, don't, don't come and storm area 51 it'd be it'd be very dangerous we do all kinds of this is our our biggest you know shooting test range and uh all this stuff we we don't want to hurt you (laughs) you know and what people don't realize is is if if the people want something if we wanted to get rid of these jokers right if we wanted to to cause a stir and, and do something you know for us that's in our power we have every right to do that uh we're just we're just led by the nose you know we, we don't do anything unless mommy and daddy government tells us that we can and that's one of those things about yeah i talked about it before where where they try to socialize everything with this socialism and that's how they take advantage of us we have plenty of money to be able to take care of every single american if we stop siphoning off the wealth that these political parasites these jokers or the the initiatives and campaigns through which they siphon these our, our wealth off okay if we just stop some of that yeah america would be immensely wealthy beyond you know your dreams we're, we're actually a, a nation of debt right now okay uh they say you know america is the w- richest nation on the, on the face of the earth and, and this stuff but america is actually in a lot of debt and we're getting ready to head for a collapse and i think it's a uh i think it's an engineered collapse okay i think it's 
uh, intentionally engineered to bring America down from the inside out. I don't think America is going to be brought down from the outside in. I think it's going to be brought down from the inside out. And first of all, they have to take advantage of their of, of the people. They have to get the citizens the they have to get the citizens behind their initiative. So they brainwash the public, and we they've got us fighting over what they want to put on us. Okay, that's how they manufacture our consent. But the Area 51 thing it goes to show you if <laughs> if we got serious and put our minds to it, uh, we can we can really buck this system and buck the trend. Uh, we just got to be sure that we're not taken advantage of. We, we weed out the agent provocateurs and we don't turn a blind eye um, to what's going on simply because uh, it, this a, a character or, or whoever seems to be representative of the group. That's I mean, that's what's happening right now. That's basically what's happening with Trump. People uh, are endorsing Trump and going along with Trump on the right. They turn a blind eye to the, the New World Order agenda he's really pushing. Okay, and, and soon, if they get away, <laughs> if they get uh, away with socializing everything in a, in the detrimental fashion, right? The corporate socialism, where they steal from the poor and, and give to the rich, uh, we won't we won't have a leg to stand on. Everybody will have some stipend. They'll have some benefit. They'll be on some government assisted program where if they say the wrong political thing or if they're engaged in the wrong type of activity they're no longer eligible for their benefit so they have to have that revoked and now they can't speak out against the government now they can't say anything they're under they're under thumb because they won't get their stipend they won't get their check and that's why everything's getting so expensive you can't afford anything unless you're independently wealthy you're a wage and debt slave unless you you have your own business and even then you know it's still dodgy territory so this is where they have us they're they're taking more power out of our hands and putting it into theirs and they're doing it in a way where we're actually allowing it to happen because they manufacture our consent for this stuff they have all these initiatives and campaigns that work against us so we end up endorsing the very measures that are working against us so we're we're the ones who are falling for this stuff because again they're <laughs> they're leading us down the primrose path by the nose because we want to listen to everything they they have to say you know we're buying the dream they're trying to sell us we could do we could change it if we really wanted to but uh we just let ourselves get taken advantage of California Carter signing off